All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of the Utopia Let's Play. Uh, last episode we did a, we did a lot with um, zombie villager conversion, and uh, today we are <laughs> actually going to be getting the infrastructure ready for for potions and whatnot. Um, now, despite how developed the world is around us, um, I've also got Optifine installed to kind of uh, help with some frame rate issues I noticed on rewatch last episode. Sorry about that, ish. Um, but yeah, uh, we kind of don't have <laughs> any way to get potions, right? Um, so I'm thinking I really, really don't want to, like, I have like a huge potion, uh, thing or like idea that I want to develop in mind already. Um, so I, I don't necessarily want to build like a huge automated uh, system right now. Um, what I'm primarily focused on is just getting an area where we can actually brew potions. It doesn't have to be automatic. It can be very simple. Um, so I'm kind of wondering, like, what's the best way to get that started? Um, and, uh, yeah, I thought, like, what a, what a better place. I've always wanted there to be a little cafe in here. Um, I do need to build a staircase up here to connect to these, uh, two levels right here. Um, or these two platforms in the library. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, let's, uh, let's put a little, little, uh, little, uh, get my, uh, Silk Touch pickaxe, a uh, little cafe here. I'm um, kind of dealing with the limitations of space, uh, with, uh, the ground right here, too. So I guess we'll only go probably about this, this far, um, into, you know, into the, what do you call this? The wall? The tree? The, the tree? But, yeah, I'm gonna start workshopping some ideas and report back, uh, once I get something looking good. Um, okay, and, uh, welcome back. So, this is what we got cooking currently. Um, I did kind of carve out a little bit of space here, um, and also decorated the walls with some, uh, gray glazed terracotta. Uh, just in efforts to get, you know, as much brewing space as we can possibly muster, um, in this little cafe. I was also a really, really big fan of these, uh, bar stools I found, um, with the jungle trap door kind of, kind of aesthetic here. Um... You know, not 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 too much to say here, I guess. It's like, yes, I am trying to put as many brewing stands as possible in this small space. Um, the real challenge right now is getting a staircase that is... What is hitting me? Uh, actually, he's looting. Get a trident. Please. Oh, rip. Um, <laughs> and, uh, now, nice. Okay. Uh, trying to get, like, staircases that lead up um, to these uh, upper upper levels here. And I'm really, really struggling to imagine how that's going to happen uh, with the way I have things laid out currently. So we might have to rip out this bar stool and we might like, I don't know, put it on like a different level. I really don't want to do that, but that might be what we have to do. Or I could do something more creative with the floor plan too. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to work and uh, start experimenting uh, with some staircase designs. All right, I'm back. Time to give a little progress update here. Um, so I'm currently on the top floor, top. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call these outcroppings um, in the library. This room is also kind of unfinished, by the way. Probably gonna probably gonna get another one of these uh, nice spruce columns um, over here. But uh, yeah, I mean, we kind of like walk down the stairs. Wow, stairs. There's some like nice lanterns hung. Um, kind of about as well to, to give the place some lighting. And, uh, yeah, I did have to, to chop out the little bar over here, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I'm glad there's a brewing area, period. But, uh, yeah, I, th th there's not enough space to work with, unfortunately. So the cafe was gonna have to be scrapped. And, you know, you can't really build a cafe over here because, like, there's netherrack. I mean, we could just, like, go outside and show you. Um, I mean, you're gonna run into this right here. I actually had to manipulate some of this too and move the um, this glowstone light source from right here to right here in uh, order to get that uh, gray terracotta to kind of work as desired, right? A little, little claustrophobic, a little claustrophobic, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it does it does it does the job. It does the trick. There is no denying that. Um, I mean. <laughs> Can I, can I, can I get, can I get rid of this maybe? That's nice. And then, uh, uh, give us a little bit more space to work with, right? Um, 
But yeah, that is gonna do it for the like the brewing stand and um put a nice spruce door right here. Ooh. Okay, okay. I got a guy with gold armor. We just kill um the rest of these zombies. Don't hit the guy with gold armor. Alright, lure him back over here. Everything, everything is going according to the plan. Trust the plan. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. No. I, th I thought the I thought the gold guy disappeared. Okay, okay. Now let's see if we can get um please. Alright, the gold guy is who we want. Um getting I never said it was easy getting mobs and mine carts, please. <gasps> okay, okay, we're working with something. Uh not that. And then Hit him with a little... Uh, okay, okay. Hey, there we go. Just don't get creepered. Name tag. Hisoka. Our, our goblin friend. And uh, build a little staircase uh, to, the, to the villager farm. Alright, theoretically. Theoretically, everything should be set. Alright, let's push him up the hill. Kind of follow along, see what happens. Alright. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So I kind of want to push him down. And don't... Here, I'll try to show what I mean. Alright. So let's uh, maybe do a little of this. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Get him to fall off. Push him down. Okay, he fell in the water. That's fine. Um, is it fine? Okay, it is fine. So his his fall is broke. Um, I'm gonna go grab a bucket, and I think I think we're pretty much set here. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go down one more. Um, maybe do maybe do a little of this. Okay. Come on. Uh, no. Uh, all right. I want the water. Oh, wait. Here we go. If I can. That's ice. Okay. Well, he took a little bit of fall damage. I think it's fine. Uh, let's cap him off. I think he's all set. All right, here it is. Uh, pretty much everything's cleaned up. Still have a little bit of a dirt trail and some rails to, to fix. But uh, also got some stairs over here to kind of like accent the, the, the flaming the flaming netherrack pentagram. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's like the the courthouse is kind of missing. But you know, for all intents and purposes, um, the zombie villager conversion center is completely finished. Um, I mean, like fall down here. You know, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I've also changed uh, these basalt columns to kind of drop down a layer, give a, a little bit more depth to the building. Um, had filled up a lot of the weakness and health potions, too. We have brewed a few cycles, need to get an auto brewer soon. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty much um, completely ready for, uh, you know, to, act to actually be used and to start getting these... Um, you know, one stick for one emerald trades, one one rotten flesh for one emerald. So very excited. Uh, might start getting some villagers uh, loaded up and um, start experimenting with this thing, right? It's working. It's working. Watch them. Watch them, watch them, watch them. Thread the needle. Hey, there he goes. Uh, there was a small problem. I had to move the hopper over one more. Um, basically... This activator rail was powering the same block that powered the hopper, and when the hopper is powered, um, it can't pick up any items, so I just moved it over one. It's no big deal. Um, but yeah, let's go check them out. I think I've got one more already uh, chambered here. Um, we should soon see this guy float up. Might do a little bit of editing magic and cut. Yeah, shoots right up and, and into the chamber. Awesome, awesome. 
Okay. Um, I mean, this pretty much it's pretty much the entire process, like rinse and repeat, um, twenty four more times. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do a lot of this off camera. I'll try to get like the first round of uh, zombie villagers, um, that I convert like all on screen, um, and then after that, I think this is just gonna be boring and repetitive. So. Yeah, time to evacuate that entire household over here. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, again, I'm going to do most of this off screen. So maybe catch, like, clips of it uh, as I as I convert, like, large swaths and, and, and badges of uh, villagers. Um, <laughs> but, oh, my God. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to take all these villagers out of their houses and put them back in their houses. That was the worst part. It wasn't getting them bread. It was moving them around. Um, but I have to do it all again, and uh, luckily it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too too challenging or anything like that. It is going to be a little frustrating uh, bit of a project, but again, once these villagers are done, they're like, officially done forever. I don't ever need to touch them again unless they update the game. So it's good just getting it out of the way and getting <laughs> getting my one stone for an emerald trade, like Christ. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll cut back either to doing something else because I'm going to get tired of this, or... You know, when they're all finished and evacuated out of here. Alright, uh, let's test the last of the first batch here. Again, this is just like a test. I had to change up. Um, uh-oh, that's that's not good. Yeah, I, I've had to change a couple things up so far. Um, this, this being one of them. I think, theoretically, this should work fine. I'm just gonna... Uh, what's important here is the villager has not caught on fire. <laughs> and not that he didn't go down the hole. So all I need to do is... Uh, move these trap doors, and we should be clear. Just like that. Yes. Okay, awesome. Just, like, poke you down the hole. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Uh, climb up here. Kind of maybe, like, push you back on. Please. Oh, my God. This is nuts. This is... Exciting gameplay. Okay. Now, what was happening before is that the zombie wasn't hitting the villagers for some reason. And I thought this setup was more consistent. I had it... This works fine in the creative world. And it, it worked fine in all my testing. I really have no idea why the, the zombie isn't hitting the villager right now. What? Oh, there we go. Is it just like... Uh, maybe maybe it gets in cycles and whatnot. Um, so we'll just automatically send him send him over. Excuse me. I don't know if he like targets onto me or if it's because there's like an open roof maybe. But in my testing, it seemed very consistent as to where this is something I could automate and get going. Um, and that doesn't seem like the case right now, which is very frustrating. I mean, I guess we'll. It's not too big of a deal to run this manually either uh, with these two buttons. But okay, here we go. Um, so every, everything down here is working fine, too. So let's try it again. All right, cook. Works. And then, y yeah, it's just, it's, the zombie villager isn't, isn't, like, hitting this guy. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know why this would be happening, but it is. Hopefully, this is going to do with the, uh, the open ceiling. Um, but again, it's not the biggest deal in the world. It just means I can't speed things up a little bit more. Um, but let's just, uh, before, like, you know, I, I, <laughs> I ruin every single one of these villagers and, like, if that, if this doesn't work somehow, um, let's try to get this working. Uh, so let's get our first run through here with the golden apple. All right, all right. And I do, I did also put, oh my, if I can reach it. I put buttons here, but I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I can reach the buttons, so we'll do this instead. And uh, right here as well. So let's just see how well this works uh, with the the few we did have converted. And yeah, there were some duds earlier, as I mentioned too, with me realizing that the automatic thing uh, wasn't working correctly. And from from what it seems like, that's not something that can be fixed really. Um, or just give it, like, a super long hopper timer. Uh, but, like, the way the way I had it set up was, like, yeah, the, the villagers would land there, and the, zomb it was, the zombie was just, like, on site, ready to ready to attack and convert those guys, right? Um, but this seems, this seems to be working fine. I imagine the piston drop and 
the flushing will will work all just as well as uh you know that that, that, that that really if that doesn't work and we're gonna just have a lot of uh, loose villagers somewhere and you know I, I would much rather have the zombie villager conversion thing upstairs <laughs> screw up than have these guys like start attacking each other or like getting flushed into the wrong chambers and now they're out by the lava pool um so i'm gonna go investigate upstairs a little bit more and i'll, I'll kind of see what i find i think i think we're just doing this automatically yeah all right all right, we're at the gold farm. <laughs> uh, I might might need some nether quartz to to cap off the ceiling here. All right, to cap off the ceiling, here we are. Um, so I guess not only is it nice to have this done, and I needed to like mine most of this nether quartz too. I went on a big mining expedition. Um, because I I I cooked all of my nether quartz. I I had like a bunch I traded with the with the masons. But every single mason that has a nether quartz trade is, like, currently a zombie villager or stuck in there. Um, so I need to get nether quartz somehow. I'm hoping that this changes what the, the, the villager, the zombie villager wants. So let me get out of its, like, range. There should be nothing it's checking. It should just be, like, hitting the villager. Because what can it see? It shouldn't, it should, it should not, like, have anything else in its pathfinding besides villager in front of me, let me hit it. And it keeps, like... It looks like it's, like, looking for something else, almost. So I thought that, like, capping the ceiling off might have done it, but I guess not. Um, maybe, like, this being open has something to do with it. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Once I got behind it. It's so weird. Cause it's, it's, like, it's like it's moody, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking for solutions. Alright, and I am sick and tired of messing around with villagers and converting them and putting getting them out of their houses and putting them back in their houses it's driving me crazy um so we're gonna take a detour and just work on some of these very simple projects that i've been holding off for so long um we're gonna be like it's just installing uh shulker loaders and then moving those shulker boxes around um so let's uh break break all of these hoppers here um i think yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna get rid of all these chests is, is the idea, right? Um, yeah, get some get some shulkers loaded. I eventually want to hook this up to the post office. Um, this this building, oh, I guess you can't really see it from over here, but the building in the the the, the middle of the ocean between um, this village and uh, I I okay, well the city over here and the the city over here. I it's not really a village, is it? Now um, pick some of this stuff up too. But it feels good to kind of um, work on some of these projects that you've been holding off for so long. Uh, I also want to um, get working on the the so like next to the iron golem farm, the what we worked on in the last episode. Um, <laughs> all like like the, the the chunks get unloaded all the time, and the item sorting system breaks. Um, I think I want to go down like eh, we'll go down quite a few blocks actually. Uh, no torches in my inventory either. That's kind of brutal. Um, but the, the the iron golem farm, it's on like uh, all the item filters are on chunk borders, right? Um, so it's it's like <laughs> I I like every I constantly I will I will go and fix it. I'll fix and reset the item sorters, and they will constantly break. Um, so it's like an, that's another thing I just want to like a small a small project I've been holding off for so long that I want to fix. And I, I'll get torches. I'll be right back. All right, torches are back. Um, but yeah, and also um, the one, the one geode farm in the city. I'm sure you guys might have seen it uh, with like the the atrium kind of deal with like the 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 farmer villagers and whatnot. Um, oh my god, I don't have haste anymore. And that's that's also kind of busted because it doesn't it doesn't put anything in shulker boxes besides uh, carrots and potatoes. And it'd be nice to get like wheat and beets uh, in the shulker boxes as well. Uh, along with, like, all the honey stuff, and it's like, oh, like, you don't think it's gonna, like, uh, fill up anytime soon, but it's like, every single one of those chests filled up a lot quicker than I thought it would, um, meaning the farm's pretty effective, and, you know, it's kind of a lot of my, uh, design philosophy with farms, is just, like, have something small that runs in the background, um, that you can turn off if you want to. Uh, that's, that's definitely how I like to play the game, with, like, having a lot of, uh, okay, this is... This is the villager kill hole, so I guess this is kind of the wall we're playing with, and 
there's water like very 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 close to here too and i think i think the yeah we need we need to go this way then because like the um or this way the uh the shulker loaders i like to build are about seven blocks long um and i guess we definitely want to dig this out before we build the shulker loaders uh otherwise the room will just get flooded so all right got the room dug out uh hopper please I don't know. I think I'm thinking I'm about to stack up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got the room kind of built and set up how we want it. I'm just going to have it go vertically across the room like this. Again, there's only um, four plant types we're getting. I mean, there's only four crops in the game, right? Uh, so that is wheat, beetroot, uh, potatoes, and carrots. Right now, we only have potato and carrot farms. What was that? Oh, that's a squid. Okay, that's, that kind of spooked me. I was like, all right, hairbride moment, right? Um... So, yeah, yeah, kind of curious to see what we can do here. Um, I think this is, it goes three, three high. So we're going to want to, can we build a line right here? Awesome. And then we'll have the uh, the final bit of this line here go to a, um, what do you call it? A, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the composter, right? You know what? I screwed up. These are, these are, these need to be one longer. I always forget. Even if you do build them like a hundred times, you still, <laughs> you still, you st you're still gonna uh, screw it up sometimes. Oh my god! All right, there it is. Got it done. Uh, about time. And I think we want it. Each of these set to here, and then these will feed into their own um, individual uh, shulker containers. All right, got the next sh uh, shulker loader built. A uh, little uh, composter right here, and funneling in some hoppers to the side. Um, I, I, there's like there's like a chute right here that I need to like narrowly avoid, which is kind of frustrating. But oh, look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now let's wire this through. All right, avoid the hole gamer moment um nice okay and this should this should funnel in perfectly like everything that doesn't go into these hoppers um from our from our line here now uh will go oh leg spike um over yeah you can see this is already filling up with potatoes uh so we need to need to get some stuff in here asap and uh get some like um, some, the beets, the wheat, the, the carrots, the potatoes, and get these, uh, item loaders filled up. Alright, here's everything. Those are the potatoes. Let's get the carrots, the wheat, and the beets. Alright, so it's been like a week or two since I've last recorded, so I kind of have no idea where I'm at. Um, but yeah, I, I did finally get around to... Um, cleaning up the amethyst uh, farm and oh my god did it need it like there was so much junk and like so many items that like didn't get sorted and luckily this was all within the chunk borders um <laughs> and the the last thing i spent so much i had to like rip it out and rebuild it like two times um i didn't build it in chunk borders i didn't bother to check and that's something it's very very important you do um like again this it doesn't really matter that this is like a tileable like these are like tileable slices so this can be here but, like, you know, this redstone line cannot be cut off by, like, this. If this was moved back, like, a, like one more block, uh, I would be screwed. Um, but, luckily, everything kind of worked out and everything fits within a chunk. Um, and we have it all uh, going down to tieable shulker loaders and um, filtering into these amethyst chests. And now the next thing to do is to actually um, fix this amethyst wall right here. It used to work, then it stopped. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's because it's, like, a server and I built it in the creative world or whatever but yeah so this is done too um and i think i kind of want to clean up the episode uh the 1.20 update is coming out in a few days and i haven't uploaded in forever uh, i've been busy moving and whatnot and, and taking care of a bunch of other stuff and um yeah i kind of want to build uh the rest of this courthouse um and i have been grinding a lot of courts as well um, I have a bunch of smooth quartz cooking up in the furnace, and I have, like, 
almost an entire chest now of, um, I mean, that's not almost, that is an entire chest, uh, of regular quartz. So I actually really, really do want to get this building finished. Um, and we might kind of, uh, cap things off here on a time lapse. Uh, but I guess before we do that, I, I do kind of want to show one more thing, and that's that I actually have. Uh, I don't even remember if I showed this in the past. It's been so, uh, so long since I've recorded. Um, yeah, I, I've done, like, a lot of the, the villager conversion. I only have a couple more rounds to go. I think there's a couple more Fletchers, and then I have these guys, and I think that is literally everybody. Well, I guess the Butchers, too. Um, I don't really know if I care to, uh, convert the Butchers. Um... But yeah, I mean, let's get building. But yeah, feels super good to get the courthouse done. Uh, just putting on the finishing touches here. And I think I might actually replace this uh, red carpet with black carpet. Um, because I really didn't have the interior built when I created the room here. And I think, I think um, black carpet will look a lot better on accent the fire um, a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to finish up this doorway. And thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, if you are a fan of the channel... Um, you know, appreciate you uh, tuning in, of course, right? Um, kind of sorry for the lack of uploads lately, but I've been moving, and it's summer, and I've, I've been outside more. So, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.